In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the last week of Jesus' life begins with his entrance into Jerusalem and his cleansing of the temple, reminding people there that the Lord's house was to be a house of worship for all nations, not a marketplace. On the last night before his death, he meets with his disciples for Passover and initiates the communion meal as a reminder of his body and blood given for the redemption of many. It is to be a perpetual reminder of his love for them and for us. But in John's gospel, there is no meal, no communion, no body and blood of Jesus. Instead, Jesus washed their feet as a sign of humble service and tells them he has set an example for them for how they are to serve one another. You should do as I have done for you, he said. Is there a connection between the Lord's Supper and the mindset of a servant? I think so. Jesus took the role of a servant, even though he was teacher and Lord. In his death for our sins and his resurrection to defeat sin and death, he gave us the greatest gift, taking a burden that was ours and carrying it himself. He carried it into death and destroyed it in his resurrection. He said, I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. So there it is. In the Lord's Supper, we are reminded that Jesus serves us. We, in turn, serve him as we serve one another. His resurrection means death to sin, death to self, death to all that separates us from God. His resurrection guarantees our resurrection to a new life in which we serve as Jesus did. His resurrection is the proof that everything has changed because he came, lived and died on the earth and defeated death and sin and Satan once and for all. Our faith is a resurrection faith. We believe he rose from the dead on the first day of the week. Our hope is a resurrection hope and our immersion with him, we die to sin and rise to a new life in him. Our life is lived in the assurance of the resurrection. He will raise us at the last day. Because Jesus lives, we live a new life. We participate in a new creation. As he showed us, resurrection life is a life of humble service to each other.